Hey, good morning. You know where we're at? It's uh, 24th of uh, January. Harley's having their reveal. Bergen Harley, launch day, 2024 models. Let's go in and get our bagel. We got everybody over here waiting in front of the big screen right, right there. Started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. 2024. Oh, look, look at that. Carbon fiber. 2024 low, uh, <laughs> CVOSD with the 121. Has carbon fiber. Covers on the back, really cool. With, I was not sure. The 121 Varit. It is, is it? It does not show VVT. I wonder if it is the VVT. It has the cover of a VVT. Very nice. Nice color, black. It doesn't. And there it is, the black ST. It does not show it's, white VVT, but it's, it's not. It? It's not VVT. It's not VVT. Yeah. No, no VVT. Yeah, but they just use that cover. Interesting. Why? Why do you think? By the way, I don't have any any understanding why this ST, the CVO ST, does not have a VVT? No. 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 Just no. No. Uh, no VVT. Assumption. Yeah, but why? 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 Because would... more power. This this bike has more. This engine has more power than that one. Oh yeah. It does. So, I guess, John says, if I don't know, that the 121, no VVT, has more power than the 121 with the VVT. Interesting. Wow, one, one thing I just realized, all the standards now, um, the street glide and the road glide, standard 117 it's as if no more 107 no more 114s I wonder if that's the case or only in the touring models they're probably gonna come 117 and the CVOs 121s VVTs yeah 121 VVTs as these are the 117 the cover looks like a VVT but from what I understand there's no VVT in here interesting and i'm also noticing some difference between the air the air intakes this is the 121 cvo 121 with the square the square intake the standards 117 big intake but designed differently and a cvo st with the 117 uh sorry with the 121 with this kind of intake, so not sure what the the, the thought pro uh, the, the thought process is behind the different ones, but there's a difference between the air intakes on every one of them. Very nice color. In person, it looks beautiful. And this is some copper. I forgot the name. This the guy just told us over here uh, the actual name, but it's copper. And it's beautiful, the paint job. Oh, it's the new fairing as well. Copper head, that's the name of the color, copper head. That's very nice, I love that. Yeah. Integrated tur uh, turn signal, very nice. This, I love. I love it. <laughs> I love this paint. This cycle, this is cycle fanatics right here. All day, bro. It is a nice color combination. It's beautiful. Love it. Yeah.
Fairing designs are nice. That's a nice blue, huh? Look at this blue. Oh, look, this is the street light, street light. I don't know. Oh, okay. What color? I don't know the color yet. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you should know. 20 cut. I'm really and the new colorway. Look at him. I'm excited. Look at him. Fanatics all day, man. Right here. All day. This is black, street glide standard, 117. 117. Nice. Oh, looks really nice. Love the seat. They changed up the seat. Look at that. Beautiful seat. colors, the new paint with the new fairing design. It's really nice. It's really nice. Makes the bike look different. Shark skin. So obviously it comes with the and this beautiful uh, I don't know blue deep blue with some metallic metallic crisp inside. It's really nice. Liquid cooled, liquid cooled heads. That is the reservoir. You get off my, get off my bike. Get off my bike. Oh, the classic Road King. I don't know. Is this the? No, it's the 2023. It's not the new one. Look at this heritage. I love this color. This color is beautiful. Wow. I love the heritage. I rode it for a few days in Daytona. Most comfortable bike they make. The riding, riding triangle is the best. Hey, there's the low rider SP. In uh, ketchup, uh, ketchup red. I'm not sure what it's called, but I still, I think, still, uh, I still think my my color bunch of gray is the nicest. I'm sure I'll get uh, comments about that. I'm literally at home now after the showing at uh, Bergen Harley, watching John's video, Cycle Fanatics, him. Uh, Riding the CVO ST. Apparently, a few uh, weeks ago, he was uh, he got to ride it before everybody else uh, knew about it. Really amazing. Really love the wheels, definitely. Anyway, I was there. I was there at Bergen Harley Davidson. John and I went to see the reveal, we got to see the bikes. Very cool, very, very cool. I don't know, I don't know the prices, uh, exact prices right now. CVOs are 40s, 40s to 50s. The Tourings are 26s to 30s. Those are the bikes that are pretty much we're looking at. And I gotta say, the color schemes never disappoints with Harley. The color, the paint job, amazing, amazing. 
Also, this new standard touring models, pretty much they drop the specials, no more specials. There's uh, touring standards and these touring standards, and then the next step up is gonna be a CVO. The standards are a great, great, great buy in my opinion. Really great. They've got the new fairing styling. They got a 117. They've got uh, the standard cam, no VVT, and uh, the new body style, body works, the saddlebags, the new saddlebags. Touring models also have the huge TFT new display. So like uh, so, and the new fuel tank, everything, the body, the body style, pretty much very impressive, very impressive uh, bike. And the price point re is absolutely reasonable in my opinion. That's a great bike. If I was gonna buy a new bike, a new Harley, that would definitely be a bike that I would build on. Uh, the standard would be the, the street glide or the road glide. Yeah, I'm gonna continue watching John's video. That's it, hope you enjoy this one, guys. Uh, I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift till the next video. Peace out.